Okay, this video is what is breast implant illness? So a woman gets breast implants and most women tolerate them pretty well, but some of them, they get leaking early on. The breast implant can rupture. Sometimes, you know, even though the capsule's intact and the implant's intact, it can leak a little bit of material. Some material can pass through an intact uh, implant. Um, some of them will be leaking silicone. They also will contain some heavy metals. Those can leak into the body, like tin, for example. Um, this lady, Ruth Hydridge, very famous in the vegan community, she survived uh, metastatic breast cancer for over four decades. Um, and she's real smart. She's very nice. She, she had a problem with breast implant illness after she had a mastectomy for reconstructive breast surgery. And she wrote a book all about it. So that would be the place I would start if you're interested in learning about breast implants. She'll tell you the truth. She's not trying to sell anything. She's real nice. Uh, and she's smart. So that's where I would start for information. Then the other spot I think you can get good information is from this lady. She is an ophthalmology doctor who had a problem with breast implants herself. And that led her to study them in much more extensive detail. Also, because she's got that surgical background as an ophthalmologist, they know a little bit more about surgical stuff. Her TED Talk was very good. You know, I listen to lots of doctors giving lectures, and, you know, most doctors, and you look at all these other videos on the Internet about breast implant illness, and they're all superficial kind of BS. They don't tell you anything useful that you need to know. This tells you useful things. Like, if you're going to take the implant out, it might be infected. Make sure you culture the implant, because a lot of times she said the other surgeons were taking them out and we weren't culturing them. You can also get these chronic, atypical, low-grade, almost commensal-like bacteria, and you want to know uh, if they're there potentially. At least try to culture them. Okay, anyways, she also has a list of all the heavy metals that can um, be related to these uh, implants, you know, tin, mercury, and other ones. Um, you can form autoimmune reactions to some of the materials from them and then get antibodies to them that cross-react with your own tissue. That's an autoimmune reaction. You can just get a frank allergic reaction directly to the uh, something from the implant without um, it cross-reacting to the body. Um, we talk about the infections and all the symptoms that can come with that. That's a whole other ball of stuff. You can just have it from having a foreign body inside your body. You can get an inflammatory reaction to that. Some people are just markedly, due to genetic variation, sensitive to them. The silicone can migrate to other parts of the body. People can present with all kinds of vague symptoms. Brain fog, confusion, fatigue, joint pain. Um, let's see. So anyways, those are the main points about breast implant illness. That's how you get started with a subject. Find a reliable source. These are two good sources to get started on. Um, and then if you're going to get the breast implant out, make sure you culture it. Make sure you test for all these heavy metals. Can you chelate any of the heavy metals? Maybe. Uh, so I don't know anything about her as a clinical physician, so I can't comment on that. But I can tell you, to get into ophthalmology, you usually got to be in the top 10% of your class. So she had to be pretty smart. Um, and then, you know, the fact that she dealt with it for her own personal self, um, that means she's got a lot of insight into it. Plus, she actually ended up going into some of this type of medicine. Usually ophthalmologists want to stay in optho because it really pays well. And they don't want to do something else that's not going to pay as well. So, anyways, the little bit I know of her was good. Uh, her name is Dr. Laura Miles. Laura Miles. So, if you just search TED Talk, Laura Miles, The Science of Breast Implant Illness, um, that'll help you get started on that. I can put a link below for it. So, anyways, this is kind of interesting. For some women, it ends up being a really big deal.